Valentin Cavell, co-founder of the microbrewery Le Singe Savant in Lille. And so we created this brewery to, uh, it's been inspired by my, uh, one of the, the other co-founder, Guillaume, who actually went to Canada and uh, he discovered a bunch of breweries there. He got very inspired and he wanted to make one here. I've met him uh, and I wanted to change my job. I was a computer, uh, in computer science before. And so we met on the values that we wanted to put into the, 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 the brewery. So we wanted to make it local, uh, eco-friendly and socially uh, good for everybody. So we make beers that uh, we are trying to be creative in our recipes. We make beers uh, how you would make, uh, you would cook something. So we, uh, we use a bunch of different ingredients. We try to play with different flavors and we make beers to uh, make people discover something new every time, okay? The other aspect of the brewery is uh, that we try to uh, reduce our waste. So we have a uh, bottle washer at the brewery and we uh, get our bottles back, we clean them and we refill them. And we also get other bottles from other breweries that we use also. We also have a school, so a brewing school, uh, where we teach people how to brew and actually three of the breweries that are on the BAL, the Bien-Lille Festival, uh, today started uh, to, well, they learned how to brew in part uh, at the brewery. What, what do you plan to build from here? Your... Oh, yeah. So we have many projects. Uh, so we are going to open a bar. So next year, in about three or four months, we open a bar where we are going to have uh, about 15 taps. Uh, and other taps will have our beer. So we will uh, serve the beers that we make 15 meters away. So it's even more local than we are actually. Uh, and we don't want to get big. Uh, it's not our goal at all. We want to stay local, stay little, and make a lot of projects around uh, the brewery. So we also want to um, mutualize the bottle washing machine with other breweries. Uh, the plan is to, um, oh, how do you say, uh, consigne in English? Uh, get the returns? Maybe? Yeah, yeah, uh, yeah. Uh, so we want to make the bottles returnable by every brewery around here. So we have the project with other brewers to uh, buy a bottle washer together and get this back because we, uh, we were doing it 50 years ago and we stopped and we think it's stupid so we want to do it again. Uh, we want to work on uh, our waste even more with the, the spent grains for example, make cakes with it, make uh, flour for the bakeries around. Uh, and we want to uh, uh, develop the, the school a little bit more, maybe double its size, but not more. And then we have other projects like growing our own hops and uh, cereals, but we'll see later for that. <laughs> Where do you get your inspiration from and how difficult it is to be a craft brewer in France, which is known for, you know, 15 years ago when I lived in Montpellier. Uh -huh. Bad beer. <laughs> well, uh, actually, uh, northern France is pretty renowned for the Belgian beers and northern uh, France beers, uh, which is also an issue because um, it's mostly industrial beers and the movement of microbreweries uh, came on pretty slow in northern France because it was kind of uh, blocked by the industrials. Um, now it's, it's going pretty, pretty good. Uh, we have a bunch of op openings, we have a lot of demand, uh, a lot of people want microbreweries, uh, craft beers, made locally, uh, made with good values as well, uh, so eco-friendly and not huge structures. So it's not that hard to open a microbrewery and we encourage people to do so. Uh, it's a lot of work, though, uh, but it's fun, it's fun, and 
We do this because we want to make something that people can enjoy. And there is a bunch of bullshit, bullshit jobs. <laughs> I was in a bullshit job b before. And this kind of makes more sense to do that. So not that hard, very pleasant. And we, yeah, we enjoy it a lot.